Hey there, my name is Chaos and thank you for joining me on the Retro Game Couch. About a week ago I was uh, walking around on a flea market here nearby and uh, something caught my eye and it was this bad boy. It is the Sinclair ZX Spectrum 48K and the woman that was uh, selling this sold it to me for one euro. It didn't come with the power supply but uh, I took it home anyway obviously uh, and I connected a universal power supply, uh, but I couldn't get it to sync uh, on my television. I couldn't get signaled from the RF output. So uh, I read on the internet that this is a common problem for these type of computers. But I also read that uh, the main board actually outputs a very good composite signal before it goes into the RF module. So what you can simply do is bypass the RF module and link the composite output directly to this connector so you don't have to change anything in the case it's a real easy mod which I will show in this video so let's go to do this mod we obviously need the ZX Spectrum a soldering iron some solder and I am going to add a capacitor to smooth out the signal between the video and the video connector. So the case is held together by five screws. So let's remove those first. Then we can lift up the top part of the case. And be careful, the case and the main board are connected with two flat cables. And the main board is held into the back case by one screw. So let's get rid of that as well. And now the main board should come right out. Next, we need to open the RF module. So we take off the top part. This is the video signal wire, we'll be cutting that and this is the power wire, which we will also cut. And we're going to desolder this connection as well. So let's cut the wires. As you can see the video and the power connection are both cut. And now let's desolder this wire from the connector. Next, we're going to add some fresh solder. And now it's time to add the capacitor. We connect the plus side of the capacitor to the video signal. and the minus to the connector. Just a bit of solder and we're done. So let's connect a composite cable which is also connected to my monitor and let's turn on the ZX. Yes, a perfect signal, very nice. So let's put everything back together now. So as you can see, a real easy mod to add composite video to your ZX Spectrum. 
it only takes cutting two wires and making one new connection. Real easy, everybody can do this. So um, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time on the Retro Game Couch.